Freezing fog advisory for us today around here. Things are going to be in the mid to upper 20s. You go through Blackfoot this morning. There's going to be some fog. 32 for Pocatello by the afternoon. A little warmer there into the southern portions of the viewing area and the breezes will be light and we've got snow that's going to start arriving late tonight. We've got a winter storm watch for the western side of the state. Good morning. Jeff Roper here. First alert Viper weather app is available now. Download it so you can keep track of these storms like we are. I'm going to be here all day and at noon today we'll bring you an update on the accumulations. I'm going to show you what we're thinking right now. The ride is smooth in Pocatello. It's a little cloudy. We've got some low clouds. Maybe you're headed out to the side or in the desert uh, up around uh, Antelope Flats. If you're going that way over towards Swan Valley, you'll probably see some of these low clouds into Rexburg. Squeeze off some showers with this low stratus deck that we've got and we've got a ridge that's going to be pushing through here and deliver some quick moving snow as we head toward tomorrow. We'll take a break. There'll be more on Saturday and it's going to deepen as we go, obviously. But this area right here we're concerned about this morning with the freezing fog advisory along the interstates from Shelley and Firth and Rose all the way to the state line. We just cut them off there and say, come up here, buy a lottery ticket, Utah. Three below in Salmon, two below in Chalice, nine in Driggs this morning. It's six below in Jackson, ten beyond the Star Valley. In Pinedale, it's nine in Soda and a little warmer into the valley this morning. But some of these wind chills, man, uh, 25 below. Let me take you into your neighborhood this morning so you know what to expect. We're beginning with some clearing there in Salmon. We're going to start to see some clouds build up. This snow is going to progress in here tonight. You've got some snow showers around. The chances aren't as great for our central mountain areas, but there will be some into the Sun Valley. Now you get into the upper valley areas from Hamer and Manan on up into Island Park. We're expecting a good dose of snow here by the time it's all said and done, maybe up to a foot. Uh, this will be into tonight with still some low clouds and those mountain snows begin to push in here through tomorrow. The winds will pick up. It will take a break into tomorrow afternoon, but we're still getting snows there into the train station and above Tetonia and Driggs. Now I'll take you into the Snake River Plain and the southeastern highlands and on over towards Star Valley and Jackson. This snow arrives early tomorrow and so we'll be talking about this on the drive in. It'll begin by the time I get up and snap on my wig. Now things are going to deepen into the midday hours around here and these breezes will be blowing this snow. So we expect that to be troublesome at times. So slow your roll, be prepared for it. Deepening snows into Saturday afternoon with another system that's just going to ramp up here. So look at the totals through tomorrow afternoon. We're talking about a couple of inches of snow possible, especially east of I-15, a couple to four inches there into Jackson and the resorts and a couple into the center central uh, mountain areas and two to four inches there in Preston. But Saturday and Sunday are the real soakers around. And that's when we're going to get the most snow is Saturday night into Sunday. Now watch me at noon and I'll have a further update on these trajectories and how much snow we're going to see. But we're expecting uh, maybe six inches of snow into the Snake River Valley to the east of I-15 before it's all said and done. Morning freezing fog around here. Freeze advisory for that fog at through 11 a.m. It's going to be in the mid 20s. My forecast takes us into uh, some cold weather again tonight and then we're going to warm up and storm up as we head after the snow into Saturday and Sunday. So it gets really insulated around here and we're going to see us packed in with lots of moisture. We take a bit of a break because the most snow is going to happen early Sunday morning. It looks like so in it, and it's like a repeat of last week. Isn't it? Salmon 26 down to nine and it will be closer to freezing with the snow backing off on into Saturday. Jackson. Yeah, we'll get you plenty of snow. You're doing business over there. It's great news. It's going to be down to three tonight after a partly sunny day. We'll burn off this fog today in Pocatello. It'll be freezing. It'll be 21 tonight and then we get those snow rounds that begin tomorrow morning to start the drive on Friday. Slickery and foggy this morning. 26 to Idaho Falls. We'll cut that in half tonight, but you see the temperatures are more in the mid 20s and uh, right around freezing with good, good snows. Maybe some rain mixed in as well, depending on the temperatures, because it's going to get warmer to the south of us with this system. But the snow lingers on into Monday as well. Share your Christmas decorations and those retro Christmas Day pictures. We want to see those. Jeff.roper at localnews8.com. Now the desk.